Seven days, seven photos. Here's the deal, no rules, just pure creative freedom. Hit the trails daily and capture at least one shot. Whether it's your neighbor's cat or something a little more wild, it's all fair game. So grab your camera and let's dive into the daily grind. So I thought what better way to start off the challenge than uh, a little walk down to the post office to send out my first shipment of orders for my new website. We'll see what we can find on the way there or on the way back actually, because they close soon. post office is closed so I couldn't even get that part of my day finished and uh, I figured we'd stop by the pond really quick and see if there's any wildlife here there's nothing here they just started construction right there looks like all the ducks all the wildlife the muskrats everything's moved on I wanted to scrap it start the video fresh with a good start but the whole point of this video is is how difficult wildlife photography has been this month and overcoming that by photo oh my gosh there's a duck all right, if I can get a low angle of them. Just barely fit this camera in the bag there. Here comes the duck. Okay, so I'd wanna get really low. I've got a really friendly subject here so we can perfect our shot. Ideally, we kinda of wanna wait for him to do something interesting, but otherwise I'm getting nice low angles as low as I can manage here. All right, so the sunlight just came out. I think I'll attempt one more photo of the dock and get the iridescent greens. This was overkill. I have the teleconverter on. That was so unnecessary. And from what I can see, the photos may not be turning out super sharp. Okay, I think that was a pretty good start to the challenge. Now I've seriously got to get these orders home safe and sound so that I can deliver them tomorrow. All right, day two of the challenge, heading out to the local park. We've only got a few hours left of light because I spent my day fulfilling orders from my new website and spending just a little bit too much on shipping. So I could really use a win tonight. I wonder what that sound is. It might just be a squirrel, I don't know. There's something in the trees above me. My first attempt at a subject is a squirrel. No way. It's a barred owl. So where did I see him? Okay. Down the road below here. Okay, so the barred owl is on the hunt right now looking for food. I was trying to set up a recording for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. 
And he flew away, I don't know what direction. What a cool encounter though. Maybe a part of this challenge should also be just to be grateful for the encounters you have, even if you don't get a good photo. Man, this is only day two, guys. <laughs> but day two is complete. I'm gonna consider that a win. All right, we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Apparently anything can happen. All right, day three of the challenge. We're on foot today because it is just getting too cold to bike around the, the park. So let's see what we can find on foot. I'll be able to be a little bit sneakier too this way. Probably time to get the camera out. Okay, let's see if we can get some casual bird photos. Oh, they're flying away. Actually, they're right beside me. These guys are so quick. Oh, very cool. What are you? I don't know if that was an American goldfinch I just saw. The, uh, the photo of, I think, was the American goldfinch. One of them actually turned out sharp. There's a random seagull playing in the water. Let's see if we can get a reflection shot of them. That would definitely be an extremely common bird. Um, where can we get a reflection of them? I gotta get down there. And now we're nice and low. Oh, I don't wanna sit in the gunk here. Oh, he just caught a fish, I think. No, he's just, what is he eating? What was he gobbling? Oh yeah, I got him with a fish, that is so cool. So who the heck knew I was gonna have fun photographing a seagull? Okay, catch another fish, dude. I got higher shutter speed now, I'm ready. Okay, we're ready to go. Look this way with your fish, dude. He caught another one. No, I can't see you back there. Okay. Oh, did you guys see that? I missed focus entirely. Come on, catch a fish. I'm ready now. That was cool, I think. Oh, he's catching a lot for me. Up the shutter speed again. I don't want to miss any action. Pull the zoom back a little bit so that if he moves out of frame, I still get the shot. Yep, definitely got that one. Oh my god, that is awesome. All done with the photos of the seagull. I didn't wrap things up there just because uh, I was chatting with a fella and he just told me that in the spring there was a pair of black crowned night herons here at the pond. So jealous, I would have never thought to look here for them. Very cool though. All right, we're heading home, it's starting to rain. After I take a picture of this little red squirrel. Lower the shutter speed because he's still enough. And I'll raise up a little bit. Violated woodpecker just flew in. He's on the other side of that tree there. Right there. Maybe go up around this tree. And now I have some cover from him so that he doesn't get uncomfortable. There he is. Oh, that is a beautiful backdrop. That's This is the photo. This is the one I need. the zoom back a little. That is awesome.
All right, I'm gonna give that piloted woodpecker a break from my nuisance. And it is starting to rain really hard, so I'm gonna head home. But I got more than enough photos. It leaves me wondering what we're gonna take photos of for the rest of the week. And that's the end of day three. All right, already off to a really great start on day four of the adventure. I just got a red tail hawk in the tree in my backyard. So that was a wicked encounter right out of the gate, but the photos were kind of bad. So I'm still gonna go out on a little adventure and see what we can find. Really though, so much for me saying that I was having a slow November. Ever since I started this challenge and I've pushed myself to go outside each day, oh, slippery back there, I have immediately had an awesome encounter each day. heading to the other side of the river. Massive trees. And it's gonna be really dark in here. So much potential in all this forest here. There's a little squirrel up ahead. He's pretty upset with me. He's giving me some good photo opportunities. Okay, well he's gone. Uh, he was on the tree closest to us there. I think we have another hour of light. I'm exhausted from that walk and I don't hear anything out here. I'm ready to just head home and relax. All right, gotta take the river home now. These guys might not be as friendly, so I'm kind of worried I'm gonna spook them. We're just on the other side of the rocks. try for one more image with them. Just gonna get up ahead here. So I've got some awesome lighting here. And I feel like we should get the female duck to change things up a little bit. But the male looks really cool. All right, so today didn't go totally to plan, but we found those two ducks back there and I got to try something a little bit different, a long exposure of ducks. It was pretty tough because I couldn't get my shutter speed too slow. Not for those guys, they would not sit still. Anyways, that's it for day four. Catch you on the next one. Well, I was trying somewhere different today. Little did I know that trail system's gone. There's so much development in this area. Everything's vanishing. Day five, today's off to a pretty rough start. So I decided to hop on the bike, head down trail, and hope we find something. So I'm thinking the plan today is we're gonna go find some beavers. And then the backup plan is hopefully some chickadees. And backup, backup plan, river otters and ducks. Specifically a hooded mersinger drake, the male. They're so cool looking. And I was down there before I started 
this little series and I saw two males out there. They were so cool, but really far away. The photos were no good. I do hear some, ch hear some chickadees. Oh, no way. Let's have a look out here. The water's really calm. So up ahead is where the beavers were before. And we've got some fresh evidence of beavers right there. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, look at this. This is the perfect spot to play my cards and see if we can get some photos of a beaver. The only thing I'm missing is camouflage and a tripod, but I think I'll set up right back here. So if I sit here, that'll be my view. Hopefully just enough cover that I'll be able to photograph them from here. If I need a tripod, I can go to the other side here and set up on this log. Typically when I have long periods of time to wait, I just play on my phone and I research animals. With my phone left behind at home, today is a real test of patience. The ducks were coming back, but one small movement and they hightailed it back up river. Four o'clock now, no signs of the beavers. I thought they would have been out by now. They may not even be here anymore. I'm getting chilly and I figured I should start the bike ride home. Maybe we'll find something on the way home. Otherwise, day five is complete and maybe not the most exciting day. But this is how wildlife photography goes sometimes. And that's why we're doing this challenge, getting out here every day and trying our best. All right, guys, day six. I only have one hand. Day six. <laughs> Last couple days were kind of rough. So I'm gonna play it safe today. We're headed out to the local park, out to the busy part again. And uh, we're just gonna hope to find something around there just to liven things up in this video again. We've got a nice sunny day. What I'm kind of hoping is uh, today's Black Friday. Maybe nobody's out in the park today. Camera is out now. We've got the 1.4 times teleconverter on today because it is a lot brighter and sunnier out. So it'll be easy to uh, use and maybe get some closer shots. It's pretty quiet back there. So I'm heading down to the park now. He's not gonna stay, but there's a red tail hawk. Huh? I'm just gonna step across here. I'm gonna stay behind this tree for cover. This is a very difficult shot. If I go back maybe, try to stay behind the trees. The autofocus is brutally struggling. Oh, there we go.
I'm approaching carefully and as quiet as possible to where he flew. But we really don't want to flush him out. Oh, that's mucky. I don't think I'm gonna make it up this. Whew. Okay. We're almost up the hill here. Whew. Made it up to the top of the hill. We're gonna go back down the hill. I'm not gonna push this any further at all because now we're at danger of flushing this red tail hawk out and having him fly out into the street there. They seem relatively sharp. I like the, the lighting. Much better than the other days. That's not sharp, which is unfortunate. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Right, so I could call that day s <laughs> I can't do six fingers while I'm holding the camera. I keep trying to do it. Well, we could call that day six complete, but it's still early in the afternoon. I didn't even complete my walk that I planned on. So let's just continue walking for a little bit. See if we can get a couple more pictures, maybe of some more common species. I might cut it from the video because I suck at doing this, but I might wake up early tomorrow morning and go explore around the park and see what we find in the early, early AM. But I am horrible at waking up early. Camping's the only time I can manage to get out of bed. Let's head back down this probably not so steep looking hill on camera. If I go for that tree first, we'll be good to go. Because it's less steep after that. <laughs> And then let's just go straight to this tree and we're probably okay now. That was all right. Good little adventure there. Well, let's start off in the woods. Go have a peek around. It's quiet. I don't hear any animals. We might run into the pileated again. Oh, little red squirrel. I'm gonna get a low angle. Got a good little shot there. Oh, it was blurry. The 1.4 times teleconverter can be a useful tool, but I find it is struggling really hard in the forest. So, even though it's a nice sunny day, I am gonna take it off so we get some better light and hopefully some better autofocus performance for whatever little critters we find for the rest of the day. Oh, there's that squirrel with the walnut. Oh, that was almost a cool shot. Right between the logs there. There's tons of active wildlife today. I hear so many birds above me way at the top of the trees. I hear a nut hatch somewhere. Lots of red squirrels jumping around. We saw that red tail hawk. Not a bad day to be out. After a few cloudy adventures, that sun feels nice. It's warming me up. Finally getting a few chickadee shots. I'm actually pretty impressed with these shots. They're really far away, but the chickadee's sharp. One of these chickadee photos has to turn out today. So many opportunities. It's just literally waiting for them to make, to strike the right pose, and then hope I get the shot. All right, chickadees have gone quiet. That's it for day six. I'd say that was a success. We improved on the red tail hawk photo, which is sweet. And then 
we got to photograph some chickadees. I'm still not sure about those ones because I've taken so many good photos of chickadees before. So I'm definitely going to be a little bit more judgmental on those ones. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we can finish the challenge strong. All right, day seven, I did it. I got through each day and actually managed to get up early this morning. It's a grouse. I don't know what to do. I don't have my camera out yet. Damn. Ah, I heard his wings, he flew. There's so much I have to do to get set up. So I'll take that as a wake up call to have the camera out and be ready to go. I'm glad I saw the grouse though, because I was worried I didn't get up early enough, but that's a sign that I did. Sunrise was like 40 minutes ago. There's lots of chickadees active there, but I don't get out here early often, so I'm gonna head down and see what we can find elsewhere. I wanna go into the woods, maybe kind of peek around the area where we saw the barred owl. All right, I've been sitting around for a while now, almost an hour, it's nine o'clock. I'm gonna head out of here. Zero luck today. I missed out on that grouse and then skipped out on the chickadees and then saw nothing else this morning. Should have followed my own rule and just enjoyed what I came across. Okay, there's some chick chickadees jumping around in this tall stuff here. Oh, it's a cardinal, even better. I would 100% call it a win and end the video if I got a good picture of a cardinal. Because I've only got a few mediocre shots of cardinals. Oh. Manual focus so I don't miss it. Focus, focus, focus. There we go, I got a clear view. That's a horrible photo. That was autofocus. Did not get him looking at me though. Okay, we'll give the Cardinal some space and go back over to the chickadees here. There's a chickadee through all that, but I don't think I could ever get the autofocus to work. Manual focus it is. I can try to go around here. Looks like there's a path. There's a chickadee. Being out on the path over there seems better. It put me up to eye level with all of this. And then it just created a really nice bouquet in the foreground and background, depending on the distance of the subject, of course. Problem is, is all the food is lower down. So the chickadees aren't going to the top. All right, so all the chickadees have moved on. I'm gonna go back over to the cardinal spot really quick. And if I hear them, I'm gonna give it one more try and then continue on. That's the end of day seven. That uh, went okay. You know, the week started off so strong, which was really surprising to me. I'm gonna say that was a success. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope that inspired you to go out, take some photos, no matter how slow the season might be.